realize after we've uh, talked about toilets that some people are really sensitive to talking about toilets. However, like it or not, toilets are a big part of living on a boat, so buckle up. This is going to be our toilet setup for our forward head, at least for this trip. This is going to be for number ones only, right? Correct. What happens if somebody drops a number two in this setup? Clean it out. Mm. This is a five gallon bucket with one of these toilet seat attachments on it. And then I have this little funnel thing that I got from Etsy. This is a 3D printed uh, funnel sort of thing that just attaches onto the bucket. I cut a couple little notches right there and the funnel attaches on there and then there is a hose that runs out of the bucket. I actually need to bring the hose to the other side of the bucket because we kind of changed plans a little bit here, but that's the general idea. Now, when we installed the composting toilet in the aft head, we had all kinds of people being like, your feet are not gonna touch the floor. How are you gonna get up on that thing? You're gonna fall off, you know, and all this other crazy stuff. It's not like that, is it, Tammy? It's not. Because why? We have stools. Yeah, we did this same setup on Sanfly and the RV. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead, do the, give the full demonstration here. Just like so. It's not too bad. Look at those. Look at those feet. They're not dangling at all, are they? So what we need to do today is basically uh, get this toilet locked into place so it's not gonna be flying anywhere uh, when we're heeled over. And we need to get this guy locked into place so it doesn't slide off and dump a gallon of pee somewhere. We don't want a gallon of pee. And we somehow have, we have to do a bit of plumbing to get this hose attached to this in a way where it's going to be easy to use. Excellent work on demonstrating the proper ergonomics of our bucket toilet slash stool setup. Thank you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We used a stool on Sanfly and in the RV, so it's not... And no big deal. Big deal. <laughs> So I did want to say real quick that we do indeed plan to install a second nature's head up here in the forward head. So this is just a, 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 a temporary setup to get us through this current season and then, uh, well, upcoming season. And then we will indeed be installing a second nature's head up here in the forward head. <laughs> I can't, I can't, I can't even do it with a straight face. All right, yeah, uh, just, just kidding, just kidding, folks. <laughs> we wouldn't do that. 
But I think it's gonna work great though, huh? Mm-hmm. And good morning, everybody. What we have going on here is we're going to be doing a little refurbishing on our companionway slider. This is it here. And what you're looking at is the underside of it. That's really where the main problem is. The top side is actually in pretty good shape. Looks pretty nice there. Could use a coat of varnish, but overall the outside is not too bad. However, the inside definitely needs some love. We've got some mildly rotten kind of soft wood right here and uh, the paint is just really tired and cracking and ugly looking so we're gonna do a little <laughs> All right, everything is pretty much sanded down now. Uh, there are a couple places where there's basically some low spots that I suppose is maybe three layers deep down into the plywood. So I'm gonna use some of that red Bondo filler stuff just to fill in some of those low spots. And then we'll give it a coat of epoxy and then hopefully be able to get a coat of uh, that, that bilge paint right there on it. This is, we have one day to do this. Uh, so we're just going to try to get as much as we can done. So let's uh, real quick, Tammy, let's talk about this. Okay. So let's talk about timeline here real quick. So this is our last official boat work trip. The next trip down here is going to be us splashing this boat, putting it in the water. And then the trip after that, we're going to be coming down here with the moving truck and, you know, putting all our stuff on and heading out. Now that's, that's where we're at right now. Mm -hmm. And this is the last day of this trip, right? Yep. Yep. So just trying to, you know be productive we've done a lot of organization um you know still knocking out a few projects but you know we're not taking on anything else major right now that's why we're you know doing some of these you know smaller simpler cosmetic projects yep yep anything else you want to say tammy aside from yep i'm so excited that <laughs> we only have two more trips that's before right we move on i mean we this has been like an entire year of boat work We've come down here every two weeks without fail, staying, I don't know, four or five, six, seven days at times. Uh, it's been a hard, tough year with a load of travel. I mean, each of these trips that we make here is six and a half hours of driving. We do that back and forth twice a month. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's been a real marathon of boat work this year. Yep. But we're getting it done. We're just about there, at least to a point where we can put this boat to use. And we're excited to do so, aren't we, honey? Yes. Look how excited she is. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so what I'm going to use to fill in the low spots on this little hatch cover thing is this stuff. Bondo glazing and spot putty. It is probably not the best thing to use for this purpose. If we had more time other than just the remainder of this day to finish this project, we'd be mixing up epoxy with some, you know, fairing compound or something like that in it, putting that on there, sanding it down. Uh, and going from there, but we don't. And this stuff dries in like, I don't know, 15 minutes or so, so we're going with this.
You're a pain, huh? Uh huh. This is bilge coat paint, and I really like this stuff. But after you have it sitting in here for a little while, you got to take the skin out. <laughs> but the nice thing is, it actually keeps the paint underneath it nice and fresh. It's just kind of a weird step that we have to do every time. Mm. But the paint underneath is always good to go. It doesn't even seem to settle out or really need any mixing. And I really like this paint. Here's our slightly refurbished companionway slider hatch. It looks a tremendous amount better. Uh, to be perfectly honest, there are some places right in here that, uh, you know, the wood just really needed more attention than we have time to give it right now. But it is still a ton better than it was. Right, my darling? Correct. All right, let's get the sucker installed. Oh, yeah. That's it, folks. Looks pretty good. See, it doesn't have that super high gloss like varnish does, but it still really brings out the depth of the wood. It's really easy to use product. If you spill it somewhere, it's kind of easy to wipe up, which is a really good trait to have, especially for amateurs like us. Hey, eh, honey? That's right. <laughs> All right. Nice job, baby. Thank you. Man, that's such a huge difference. Yep. All right, folks. Well, that does indeed wrap up this video. Um, this is the last one you're going to see of just Tambi and myself without Molly for quite some time. And I know there are loads of people that are going to be happy about that. Mm -hmm. Molly has had a great summer and a great time back home doing this gymnastics thing called Tumble. And also uh, spending a lot of time learning how to ride horses. So, you know, I don't blame her for preferring to do that stuff rather than hang out with mom and dad doing a bunch of boat work, you know. Mm -hmm. So it just made the most sense. But looking forward to having her back with us here shortly. But the next trip down here will be for launching the boat in another, I don't know, it's probably going to be another two weeks or something like that. Time frame's still a little up in the air, but uh, that day is rapidly approaching. Yep. Mm -hmm. Very excited to be yeah. in the water. Mm -hmm. And then the trip after that is going to be coming back down here with the moving truck, moving aboard. Yep. Yep. All right. Anything else you want to say, Tammy? Nope. It was a good trip with you. Uh -huh. Thanks, honey. It was a good trip with you. Mm -hmm. Ooh, get a room, you two. I know, I know. <laughs> All right. Thanks so much for watching the video, guys. We hope you enjoyed it. Mm -hmm. And we will see you in the next one. That's right. And Molly will too. Yeah. All right. See ya. Bye.